Hello, Junior Achievement Class. My name is Chris Wolgamott from Meritrust Credit Union, and I'm here to teach you your Junior Achievement Curriculum for the year. Junior Achievement is an organization that teaches elementary school and middle school students about entrepreneurship, financial literacy, and job readiness. Today, I'm gonna to be starting your lessons with you talking about economics for success. Over the next few lessons, we're gonna be talking about your future career and what you can do to get yourself prepared for that future career. Today, we're gonna to be talking about a lesson called Mirror Mirror, which looks at who you are as an individual and then matches that hopefully to a career that you might find yourself in later in life that really fits in well with who you are as an individual. So it really takes a lot of self-knowledge to know and understand who you are so that you can land in a good career. So I'm gonna introduce myself just a little bit and teach you a little bit about myself so you see how this works. Like I said, my name is Chris Wolgamott and I'm the Director of Financial Education at Meritrust Credit Union. In my job, I get to teach people about personal finance and help them develop plans that hopefully will lead to their future success with their money. The three topics we typically talk about are budgeting, debt management, and credit review and repair. I've been in the financial industry for 22 years, and I've been doing this job in financial education for the past 12 years. Now, when we learn about ourselves and, and when we really talk about self-knowledge, we talk about three different topics. The first topic is our skills. And my skills really fall really well within my career that I've chosen for myself. I really like learning about money, and I'm really good at digging into the small details on a person's budget so we can figure out how they can spend money better and how they can pay off some of their debt. The second idea we talk about are our interests. What things make me excited? What things do I really like to do? What are my preferred interests? My first one is I love to read and I love to be a student. So I'm constantly learning about new ways that I can do my job better and new things that are changing in the financial world. I also really love to visit with people and I find a really big interest in getting to know a person. And there's not a lot more personal about a person than their money and their finances. So I am really interested in knowing why people do what they do with their money. The third thing that goes into your self-knowledge are your values. And values are really your beliefs or the ideals that you see as important. I'm a really big family person. I have a wife and two kids at home uh, that I really want to support and take care of, and I love being around them. And I also really value other families as well and working with people so that they can have the best family situation possible. So that's a little bit about me and why I fall into the career that I have fallen into. You will see behind me the career clusters that are listed. Career clusters are really groupings of jobs and industries that are related by either knowledge or related by skill. And there are two different career clusters that I really find myself in. The first is the financial career cluster because I really work a lot with money and I've been involved in banking for many years. The second career cluster that I am really interested in is the marketing and service cluster. And I really like that because I really do like serving people and learning why they do what they do and the different decisions that they make. So knowing a lot about yourself is really going to help you define what type of career you want to have when you get older and graduate. You can see in this handout that we have from Junior Achievement, it talks about your values, it talks about your skill and knowledge and how they relate to your self-knowledge. Today, as a class, you are going to be going over the self-knowledge uh, survey to really figure out more about yourself. Now, I understand with 
virtual learning, this is backwards. Yours is actually going to be uh, forward facing, so you're going to be able to read it. But you're going to be able to answer some questions that are going to help you understand who you are as an individual so that you can use decision making to help you make the right choices for the classes that you're going to take and the careers that you might be interested in. Over the next six lessons, we're really going to be talking about getting you ready for your career as an adult. So I hope you find these lessons interesting. Uh, and I hope you're able to take away a little bit from each one of the lessons. Good luck on your activity for today, and we will see you very soon for your next activity.